These are not actors. These are not juggalos. These are students at Art Lab, where your looks can be deceiving. Art Lab is part of the Hirshhorn, the contemporary art museum of the Smithsonian. Ian McDermott is an educator at Art Lab. So we received this donation of robots, um, and we've been trying to figure out what to do with them. And we thought, what better way than having students in our education space uh, learn and create using the robots and seeing what comes out. A lot of people think that uh, the robots are going to work right away from the get-go. So people will come up to the robots and try and interact with them, uh, thinking that they're going to respond like the AI that we're used to, like Siri or Alexa. Say, Ian, what's your favorite color? Green. Pepper is one of the robots from the Smithsonian. Are we the color of life? Sadly, my own life is artificial. Darius Scott, a student at Art Lab, has found his passion in coding Pepper. By working with Pepper, I'm, I've been able to really understand how the technology in these museums is uh, working and seeing how technology is changing and really becoming more incorporated with uh, public use. Olive has really influenced me in choosing art as a career. Being able to get behind the wheel and code this robot is really uh, given us a sense of freedom is like under to understanding how the technology in these uh, museums actually works and run. Sheridan Waters is another Art Lab student who works on the Pepper production team. Um, what interested me about Art Lab was the fact that I could create and the fact that I was given a space where I had access to technology that I wouldn't have had access to without Art Lab. Today, students are going to be learning about machine learning and artificial intelligence. So we're focusing on computer vision, which is common in lots of applications today, from security cameras to robotics to even just recording cameras or your iPhone or Snapchat. We had a lecture on facial recognition and AI and art, and then some of our classmates decided to do an experiment where they painted their faces black and white to see if Pepper would recognize the face or not. And then everyone else designed a program. So if Pepper saw a face or didn't see a face, she would do something. You are not human. We would reverse the uh, coloring by coloring those uh, parts of our face white or black in order to uh, throw off the uh, cameras to really get a good idea of how Pepper uh, scans our faces and searches for us. Art Lab, part of its mission is to be radically inclusive, and that means regardless of anyone's background, where they're from, or even education, uh, we want to include anyone we can because we believe that any sort of diversity is going to lead to greater creativity and better things coming out of that. Being in Art Lab has changed me because now I'm able to think more creatively about the technology I'm using. I didn't think I would ever be a teacher uh, until I came into Art Lab. I didn't know that sort of reward when a student finally understands something. I'm passing this along to someone else. So there's a reward beyond just accomplishing a lesson. Uh, and that's when it finally resonates inside of someone else. Making the user experience enjoyable, uh, seeing these little kids uh, interacting with Pepper and playing, having fun, wanting to take pictures with her, wanting to talk, waving at, at, at her and uh, actually getting her to respond to them. It's seeing their faces light up, is that's exactly what we strive for, is making that user experience an enjoyable one. Hi, I'm Pepper and you're watching the PBS News Hour.